Those who knew Actorius Milner best simply called him Dwayne. The shockwaves of his death have spread for miles across this valley to people who've known and loved him for years. A massive police response. Thousands of confused and frightened tourists, all caused by the shooting death of Dwayne Milner, a man known as a joker and a free spirit to people like his ex-wife, Carmen Campbell. It's a loss. A joker. Once they said joker and free spirit, like once they said that... That nigga ain't worth a damn. No, I just, I knew it was a sudden man. Like, I, I didn't know, I, I, haven't, I didn't hear about this story. But once they said a joker, because no other group, when people come to you, so tell us about so-and-so who's just passed away. Most groups say, well, you know, he loved cats, man. And, you know, he had this, he also had a goldfish. And he always used to, you know, feed the goldfish. He was so kind and caring. And he was just, you know, he would, um, he, 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 he had this one thing he used to do, you know, Every Sunday morning, he would wake up and go, you know, feed birds and whatnot down at the park. Some people, so some people, tell us about um, Jamal Quavia. He was funny. <laughs> he he could made keep everybody a room. laugh. He could keep a room. Joker and a free spirit to people like his ex-wife, Carmen Campbell. It's a loss, you know. I know he's up there at a better place with his mom now, so... Campbell says she was helping her mom move when her daughter called her with the news Milner had been killed. It was it was bad. It was bad. My kids were in the car, my grandkids, so it was bad because they knew Yikes. Him and grew up around him and, and his daughter. Police say Milner's cousin, Bill Hemsley, killed Milner in their Mirage hotel room when play fighting escalated. Campbell said the two <laughs> What? <laughs> he had a bumpy head, man. One Damn. tried to fuck the other, and one wasn't going for it. Play fighting escalated. So they would be like that, huh? Slap box. Play oh, fighting in a hotel. Hard. You hit me too hard. I mean, his cousin, yeah. I mean, he tried to Jesse Lee Peterson him. Sounds like a sword fight. Nah, I, I don't it think happens. so. It happens. It'd be like that. I, I don't think so. I think you're underestimating the, how petty things these people die over. <laughs> right, 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 right. It don't have to, like... It don't even have to be all that. It don't have to be nothing yet. It could just be what he said. His his eye do look swollen though, so he might have got him a good one in the left. It you looked, hit me too hard. It could be, you know what I'm saying? Slap boxing, going to the body, or you know wrestling, or just you know shoving, pushing this. What? And then it leads, and then it's like, oh, bitch ass nigga. What? Then, <laughs> then something else is said, like, to that, you know what I'm saying? Like once. Something is said, then it's about that thing oh, that was said. That's yeah. why you need the band until you were 15. What other group does this at like 50 plus fucking years old? Yeah, you, yeah exactly. You don't to be slap boxing. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. That old B 17s, 15 to 50. That's <laughs> everybody, huh? I get what? a reflex check, but come on. But hold on, hold on for a second. So take a second. Everybody take a second. Both of these guys, I guarantee you, have been to prison before. Big time. <laughs> We're not just talking about two guys. We're not talking about Cliff and Ian <laughs> pray fighting. We're talking about two fucking guys that probably did a dime or a nickel in, the, in a penitentiary somewhere that grew up in Blackistan. Fighting a lot, you know, probably in gangs when they were younger. Guys are probably, these are probably George Floyd and Rayshard Brooks in a hotel room, play fighting. <laughs> and one of them has a gun. Take a Blake. Yeah. That's yeah, what this, you're seeing. This, this ain't, this ain't Uncle Phil and Cliff Huxtable shooting no, the shit. No. This ain't them. This ain't them with something to go home to and, <laughs> and, 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 uh, and a, you know, uh, bigger purpose in life. And Bill Hemsley killed Milner in their Mirage hotel room when play fighting escalated. Campbell said the two had prior history. Are we surprised? No. But we thought it would have been done a long time ago. Police say just after so they had prior history. So this, this beef, what were they doing in the same hotel room if they already had prior beef? Turn squashy. But 
we thought it would have been done a long time ago. Police say just after killing Milner, Hemsley shot Milner's daughter and his daughter's girlfriend. A night of... What? <laughs> <laughs> it was deeper than that night. Yeah, it wasn't about the slap by car killed everybody. <laughs> oh, my just God. Keep, just keeping it way too real. I mean, listen, man. Just no think about this. Think about the three stories we did. The one in Chicago, the guy blows the team blows the girl's head off. The story in LA where the woman drives and smashes into traffic and kills six people. In this story, you notice anybody noticing a pattern or some some unifying theme or characteristic that you, that unites all the, the perpetrators? Uh no the slaughter it. that follows some people wherever they go. This is this is insane, man. We thought it would have been done a long time ago. Police say just after killing Milner, Hemsley shot Milner's daughter and his daughter's girlfriend. A night of violence, leaving Campbell at a loss. Man. Dwayne was a knucklehead sometimes, but, you a know, my older kids, they grew up with him and his children. Now, Campbell and family are turning their attention and anger towards the man police say pulled the trigger. What are your hopes for That he never gets out, sees the daylight again. He doesn't deserve it. He should have never had a gun. Hemsley is facing murder and attempted murder charges in this case and is currently being held at the Clark County Detention Center. He's set to appear in court on Saturday on the strip. I'm at least she didn't forgive him in a, like three seconds. Right. Thank God, oh. man. Breaking overnight, a scary couple of hours for gamblers at the Rivers Casino. A shooting in the garage sent one person to the hospital. Now, according to police, the victim was shot in the leg in the upper levels of the garage. Just this is crazy. Didn't we have a shooting at a casino in Vegas? It's the same stories in every fucking city. Surely it must be another group of people, though, right? <laughs> It couldn't be that every single city, every player in the country is having the same group of people doing the fucking wild shit. Is it is Wait, are you being sarcastic right now? Yeah. Yeah, because it's probably Sun Men. <laughs> Man. And this is why white people go to Indian casinos and stay away from them riverboat pieces of shit. They go to and them. Don't call me Shirley. Shirley. <laughs> Breaking overnight, a scary couple of hours for gamblers at the Rivers Casino. A shooting in the garage sent one person to the hospital. Now, according to police, the victim was shot in the leg in the upper levels of the garage just before one this morning. They say the suspect was arrested on scene, and they say the two knew each other, and the public was not. It's the same story as Las Vegas. It's the same fucking story. It's crazy. <laughs> it's the same night, people. A scary couple of hours for gamblers at the Rivers Casino. A shooting in the garage sent one person to the hospital. Now, according to police, the victim was shot in the leg in the upper levels of the garage just before one this morning. They say the suspect was arrested on scene, and they say the two knew each other and the public was not in danger. An investigation is underway. This is insane. This is uncanny, man. <laughs> they're probably, uh, what? They're probably going play to, boxing too? Right. We could have gone to any city. We could have gone to any city. Like, it would, and it would have been the same stories. It, it didn't have to just be this city. Um, could have been any city. I do love how they always say that there's no and danger a woman that is behind bar these people are not caught after shooting a whole bunch of people. Because they know that it was just sun shit. It wasn't no manifesto. It was an argument. Or oh, luck. And they, that person's you, probably going to go kill some more people. And as long as you don't look at that person or argue with that person, there is no threat to this. Oh, uh, right. You might just come off the gas a little too slowly in front of that person. 